it's ended up being a wonderful item that we ended yes. up putting in the lab. So. Eventually, you'll have to spend 500, I guess. More yes, over the five-year term. Okay. And if, if it's not spent on capital improvement, it stays right there and rolls right over into the next year. Thank you. Nice. May I say Yes, ma'am. Um, when we had our meeting over at the high school, the CEFP 10-year plan, you guys remember the guy there from... Um, Encouraging us to you were close. <laughs> encouraging us to apply for that grant. Said so even if we didn't have the money to match it, he said apply for it every year. Um, he said he, he said they'll tell you you have to have, and I'm not sure he's correct, but that's what he told us to do. He said they'll tell you you have to have so much to match it. He said but you really don't. So, <laughs> like I said, I don't know if he's telling the correct. You, you guys were there. Well, I, I'll be honest. The things have changed, and again, uh, representing Mingo County, uh, I went in for the SBA for a needs project, and uh, they mean what they say. More or less, it's like uh, it used to be. You get by with ten percent, eight percent, whatever, and it's jumped way up there. Really? And it's almost like you're graded, you know, your criteria, you get certain marks, you get a total. Well, if you don't give that money up front, you can imagine you're graded for that section. You just go down. And I was more or less said that you won't be approved. Of course, we gave the money. Well, I, have, I haven't been there for yeah. a while. Well, I, that's but what I mean. He's paving the way to get him some more work. So. <laughs> now, and, but again, it's, it's we all agree that you know when you spend a little and get a whole lot, it's worth it. Yes. Uh, and we're 25 percent. We're getting that 75. And that's, uh, so we need that help in uh, smaller counties. So we will this coming year uh, present something to them though. I mean, you know. On the MIP or needs. Um, which one comes first in November? That'll be the needs. We will present something that I'll share with the board something we're discussing is, uh, and I think, Carol, you might have been there at that time, I can't remember, but in essence that uh, we need to attempt and try to pass it on. That for us to go back and ask for a needs project, you know, that's where you come back and ask for money like uh, I think we gave a million or something, two million or a million to uh, Hearts in order to get 12 million back. They just more or less said not to come back uh, until we uh, go after Bond. And not that I don't mind doing it, because I will, but I'm just saying I know what my answer will be. I assume KK will be there, a representative, and he'll hear that himself. That's where we are. And they want us to attend to a bond and go for a bond. I think part of what Carol was saying, Mr. Polly said the same thing in that night. That, uh, even though it might be feel, it's always his suggestion that you at least try. You know, you're right. You're right. That was him. But I talked to the guy afterwards, and he said, you know, when I talked to him about the sign, and he said, you guys put in for those projects because they'll tell you you mean that, that you don't. But Mr. Polly did tell us that too. Not saying it's true, I don't know, but um, I'd still like for us to try, you know? <laughs> I mean, if we wait until we pass a bond. Oh no, I, I'm, not, I'm not suggesting we don't try. I just want you all to know the reality that we go up there, we'll present, but then I imagine the conversation is going right towards, well, we told you not to come back pass it on and I'll say yes and that we are and we're working on it you know no I usually present but you speak uh, to say you know you're happy to be here and you know, so. absolutely don't worry we, we, we'll never quit trying I assure the board I don't give up like that I'm just saying <laughs> that once we face them, you might have to face the music as well. I just want KK to be prepared. Don't be too optimistic. <laughs> Sean? This, um, this grant has been approved, correct? This 294000 Yes, sir. Okay, so it's... Um, it's up for bid now. 
And it's with well, a we'll with a hundred thousand match from your good selves Correct. and two ninety four from the state. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's see your next order of business. I believe is I the annual renewal of the substitute teacher critical needs policy eight dash fifteen dot o two for submission to the state superintendent of schools for the 2010-2011 school year. And the attachment is listed. And every year it has to be done. It's just a normal procedure. Right. Because the critical needs might change for some counties and we give our perspective every year. And Jay, to renew an annual contract with Marshall University College of Health Professions for the 2010-2011 school year, allowing nurse students to observe and work under the supervision of school nurses. We have a problem with that. I think we're all right. Do you all have any questions regarding that? All right. Um, I probably need a motion to uh, accept um, all the following that we have just put over. All right. We have a motion on the floor and seconded by Carol uh, to um, accept the above items on the agenda we just covered. All those in favor, any, any questions? All right. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay. Motion carries. And I believe we're at finance. Okay. It's Gannon. Item A, Totaling three hundred fourteen thousand five hundred sixteen dollars and thirteen cents. Should have an attachment and have copies of all the invoices. Feel free to ask any questions now or later. Okay. Item B, a county pension for Mary Jane Atkins, who's been with us for twenty eight point zero seven three years, and she's she was our cook, wonderful cook, great service to our county. Uh, her monthly pension will be $36.70, and for those of you who are new to the board, it's funded through our levy. Item C, a revision to the minutes of June 7th, making the county pension effective date for Deborah Roberts, April the 4th, rather than May the 1st. So that got her an extra month, just a little error there on that part. Does anybody have any questions? I, I just need to recuse myself from one of the invoices for the uh, branch loan Medicare PSD in the amount of seventy-one eighteen. I need to recuse myself from my brother's on that board of directors. So I can't prove that. All right. So um, we need to make a motion to accept the finance report, excluding excluding the Lincoln PSD invoice. Branch Medicare. Branch loan Medicare PSD. Um, all those who um, I hear, I have a second on that motion. Mr. Priestley seconds the motion. Um, is there any questions? Um, motions on the floor to accept the finance report. All except the mid kiff and branch PSD. Uh, all those. In, 